Look what the unholy alliance of Soros and Obama are doing in Texas. The unholy alliance of Soros, Obama, and Eric Holder are attempting to redistrict maps in Texas to the advantage of Democrats. This is yet another sign that Obama will not simply fade away from the limelight and wants to continue to be a leading for for globalism and radical socialism in America. In an opinion piece published in Saturday's Washington Examiner, Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a warning to the GOP that Democrats in Washington, D.C. are plotting to pour hundreds of millions of dollars in state and local elections across the country in an effort to buy back power. Abbott pointed a finger at hedge fund billionaire George Forrest who is helping to fund the National Democratic Redistricting Committee so that it can't take away control from voters, noting that congressional redistricting will go into effect in 2021, when booming conservative states such as Texas will gain seats in the U.S. House of Representatives. He said that one of the group's goals is to reinstate Representative Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House. But that's not all. Headed by former Attorney General Eric Holder, the tax-exempt 527 Political Action Committee plans a three-pronged attack to flood state-level races with outside money, to leverage activist courts to wrest control of state redistricting plans, and finally, with the formidable community organizing prowess of former President Barack Obama, to fund AstroTurf ballot initiatives in the guise of fairness, he wrote. He noted that Obama's tenure as president for eight years was disastrous for Democrats who lost more than 900 state legislative seats. However, it was great for Republicans, who were able to win the majority in both chambers in 32 states. Resoundingly rejected by voters, Democrats' last hope is to pervert congressional district maps to subvert the will of the people, stated Abb as he laid out their plan. Every 10 years, states redraw their legislative and congressional districts based on census population changes, he explained. Noting that because people are known to move to more successful communities, Texas has grown more than any state in the nation. And many of those new Texans once lived in Nancy Pelosi's California. According to Abbott, the Soros Network has their sights set on redrawing congressional districts in the Lone Star State to push their progressive agenda and turn the Texas dream into a California nightmare. Government, lower taxes, smarter regulations, and right to work laws. These are the pro-growth economic policies that help our homegrown businesses flourish and that attract employers to Texas from states that overtax and overregulate, said Abbott, explaining that the conservative economic policies which have fostered such economic growth are threatened by the Democrats' plan to re-engineer Texas district maps to make them look like California's maps. In fact, the Democrats are looking to redraw hundreds of congressional districts across the nation, stated Abbott. Adding that Soros is no stranger to election meddling. Soros modus operandi is to flood his chosen candidates with overwhelming amounts of cash to spend on negative campaigns. In 2016, he reportedly spent nearly $11 million on a dozen local district attorney races, including one in Harris County, Texas, said Abbott, noting that most of his selected candidates won. What Obama could not accomplish while in office, turning red states blue. He will attempt to do now through the machinations of this supergroup a partisan focus on becoming a former president, said Abbott, who vows to keep Texas a bright, vibrant red and will run for re-election. I'm running for re-election to make sure that San Francisco liberals such as Pelosi will not be running our great state. I'm committed to preserving Texas liberty, and I will continue to fight back against the liberal agenda that threatens the future of our nation, he stated, adding. The GOP needs to take the Soros Network and the Holder, Obama, and Pelosi Alliance seriously.